Welcome to the Salon Owners Collective podcast. Each week on the podcast, you'll hear stories and tactics from experts and influencers who will provide you with actionable steps to transform your business and your life. I'm your host, Larissa McClemon, and I help salon owners move from stress and overwhelm to lead a life of freedom and profit by implementing a strategic framework to grow and scale their business. So wherever you are in the world, I want to officially invite you to join me in this episode and make an important step in your journey towards more freedom and more profit. you ever feel so overwhelmed by the demands of being a businesswoman or man that you think, the next thing to go wrong, no matter how minuscule, is going to send me over the edge. Well, you're not alone. I've been there, and actually every salon owner I know has been there at some point. Because we're not just salon owners, businesswomen, and creative entrepreneurs, are we? We're mothers, daughters, wives, friends, taxis, nurses, cleaning ladies, therapists. Well, the list <laughs> doesn't end. But if there's something I love most about this industry and working inside of it is women helping women. So that's why I've rallied some of the smartest and most inspirational women I know, my friends, colleagues, and fellow salon owners to bring you 10 secrets to living a stress-free life. Because there's no gatekeeping life hacks around here. I want you to be successful. I want you to master your inner CEO. And I want you to be stress-free. There are three reasons why you should listen to the full episode. Number one, learn the apps to download that will change your life today. Find out the stress-proof money management system that so many smart business owners swear by. And number three, discover the latest technology that is actually worth the price tag and so much more. Okay, so now I want to share with you my first life hack. Actually, the thing that gave me the inspiration to record this episode, an actual fact. So recently, six months or so, I bought a new car and uh, new to me. And it came with keyless, a keyless blip blip thing, right? I don't need a key. I can just have it in my handbag. And when I've got my hands full of shopping or all the stuff, it's super useful it's super helpful to not have to dig around and fish around in my bag and find my keys I can just open the door and I just it's such a little thing but I love and adore it so desperately seriously been a game changer it's the little things in life like this that can truly make a difference okay so moving on I wanted to share this awesome life hack from one of my amazing team members coach Kylie here at the Salon Owners Collective. So something that she does to make life a little easier is that she has a basket at her front door and she puts items into it that are related to tasks. So when she's popping out to run errands, she just picks up the basket. Uh, It's like a physical to-do list, you know, a reminder. So for example, she might have some scripts that she needs to get filled at the chemist, library books that need returning, items that need posting, et cetera, et cetera. Oh my God, this is amazing. (laughs) Right. Uh, Be right back. I'm going to buy some baskets. (laughs) That has been super great. Now I want to introduce you to another one of my fabulous team members. She is my integrator operational manager, Susie, and she is a super motivated person. So I know her life hack is going to be one very valuable for you. Let's take a listen. My name's Susie. I work for Larissa at Salon Owners Collective and my life hack it's something that's really changed my life and it's from a book that most of you might already know about it's an Australian book called The Barefoot Investor by Scott Pape so his methodology is to do with your accounts your monetary accounts being like buckets and being able to turn on a tap um, whenever you need to so I've split my pay into percentages and I do that every time I get paid and it's an automatic process so I never have to think about money. What I do is I have 60% of my pay going into a daily expenses account and this is an account for any bills, payments, subscriptions, anything that's reoccurring that happens. So that is 60% of my pay and then 20% of my pay goes directly into a savings account 10% of my pay goes into a fire extinguisher account. That account is only ever used for 
little fires that I need to put out, whether that be a car breaking down, a house getting broken into, carpet needing to be replaced, any little thing that pops up. And then I also have 10% of my pay going into an account called Splurge. Now my Splurge account has its own debit card as well and I take that card with me when I go out for dinner or go out for drinks with the girls or take myself shopping. So when that Splurge account runs out of money, I have to wait till the next 10% of my pay gets put in there. So it can build up quite comfortably over time, but if I am splurging every time I get paid, then obviously it just goes back to zero. And it's really helpful having that splurge account because it means I'm not, you know, dipping into my savings account for spending stuff on myself. And a lot of people don't allocate the fact that, hey, they're human and they do <laughs> they do want to buy stuff. So having that splurge account has been super helpful. And just being able to automatically have those payments happening every time I get paid really allows me to not actually have to think about money whatsoever and I feel quite comfortable knowing that I also have a fire extinguisher account because I'm then I'm not like stressing about oh a rainy day might happen and I've maxed out all of my accounts so that's my little life hack putting my accounts on pretty much repeat in terms of automatic payments and also allowing myself to be quite free with having that splurge account rather than being quite harsh on myself. Okay, this is definitely another one that I want to start implementing myself. Sounds like a real game changer, especially for us busy owners who need to prioritize profit. Okay, now I'd love to share another one of my own tips. It's pretty similar to my first one in a way, but very much on the same theme as a keyless lifestyle, but something I'm yet to implement. Soon though, hopefully, my fingers crossed. Let's hear it now. We're going to do our okay house soon, and we'll probably we're going to we need new windows, double glazing, and we're going to get a new door. And so I said to my husband, "I want a keyless door, please. <laughs> I don't want to have to get my key out. I now am living the stress-free life of this kind of minor thing." Because I remember when I, my babies were little, and I'd have a nappy bag over my shoulder, which is full, and have a baby on my hip. And finding my key was really stressful. It was one of those things that kind of would, if I'd had a stressful day, it would tip me over the edge. And then I'd lean into the car and the bag would swing from the back right round to the front and it would smash the baby. And it was like, ah, oh, life is really stressful. So I love having a keyless life. Do you have a keyless front door? I know, uh, I'd love to know whether or not it's been a game changer for you because I am definitely looking forward to that. It's the small things, right? Uh, now, I'd like to share one for my busy mums listening. I know there are a few of you. Hey, are you loving this episode so far? Oh, by the way, it's Greta here, Salon Mastery Success Coach at Salon Owners Collective. So I wanted to pop in and ask you something. Do you ever feel like you are winging it when it comes to your business? You started your own business so that you could live the life you wanted with freedom that you wanted earn great money and be a leader. But the reality is the amount of effort you're putting in isn't giving you an equal reward. You're exhausted and you don't know what to do about it. No matter what you do, you just can't seem to get ahead. You see other people winning and seeing success, but how come it doesn't work for you? You wish you had a clear laid out plan, something to guide you in the right direction or help you with what to do next. What can you do that actually work? In reality, many salon owners feel this way. You aren't alone. If you are nodding your head as you listen to this, then you need the Salon Mastery proven nine part plan to grow your salon. That's right, no more winging it. The Salon Mastery nine part plan has given hundreds of salon owners a plan to grow, build a rockstar team, attract dream clients, and become a salon CEO. Our plan will work for you too. To uncover the nine part proven plan, just click the apply now link in the show notes of this episode. Okay, now back to the episode. The lovely Nick from my team, she is uh, our customer care coordinator and she shared this hack with us. On a Sunday night, she gets the calendar out and sits down with her family and goes through the stuff the things that they have coming up that week, kids' activities, if her husband needs to be home early any nights and anything else that affects the family for the week. And it sounds so simple, but when she told me about it, I was like, 
why do I not do this? <laughs> Definitely going to do that one. Love the organization, Nick. We all aspire to be a little bit more organized like you. Now, speaking of organization, I think this is one of the most important aspects of living a stress-free life. When you have all your ducks in a row, it leaves time to actually get the shit done. So that brings me on to my next life hack, which was kindly shared by the wonderful Hannah. Now, Hannah is part of my Salon Mastery coaching program, and we wanted to share this with you all. Me and Jamie have an app that we both have on our phones called Time Tree. And because he's a pilot, his roster gets imported in there. I put all of my commitments. We can both look in there, see what each other's doing. And even like meals, we meal plan. I can attach the recipe. So if he gets home before me, he can start prepping or whatever. I've got birthday parties. All of that is in there. So I can look and go, okay, I need a present. You know, that's been a really huge game changer for us. Now, who else is going to download that app, right? I definitely am. So I wish that I'd had that in my salon days. Actually, that reminds me, I have another one to share with you. When I used to leave the house and drop the kids off in the morning, I don't leave the house in the morning now, but I used to, I used to be really stressful to get everybody ready on time and shove people out the door. It was a stress. And getting myself ready was really hard. It was back in salon days. And then I discovered if I got up a little bit earlier, got myself ready, did my hair and makeup, got dressed, and then I put a dressing gown over top of my clothes, I could go and get the kids ready without being stressed that I would get my clothes dirty. Because before that, if I got dressed and then I did the kids, my clothes would get dirty and I'd have to go and change my clothes. And that was really stressful. So I did the dressing gown over my clothes. This is truly an amazing one if you've got younger kids. Speaking of, I wanted to introduce you to another one of my amazing salon owners in my salon mastery program. Now, she is a super mum extraordinaire, five kids, two salons. Her hack is, again, perfect for the busy mum out there. Just the last month or so, I've started getting the washing in off the line or dryer and separating it into seven piles for the seven people in my family. And taking it straight into their bedrooms and folding it straight into the drawers. Um, and it sounds so silly, but man, it's made a difference because I used to just fold it in front of the TV and you not know, have washing piles sitting there for days, to be fair, because I absolutely hated putting it away. So now just folding it straight into the drawers, it's done and it's not taking any more time. So loving it. My next step will go and be by, well, I won't get seven, I'll probably get five little buckets and then maybe separate them into that. But at the moment, it's just working really well. And for my daughter and son, now 16 and 13, I can just chuck it to them and be like, here, fold your washing and fold it into your drawer. So it's really good. Now that one is definitely ideal, especially when your kids are old enough to fold their own washing. I have to say, as soon as she told me, I went out and bought the buckets and we now have buckets each in their room. Now, the first mistake I made is I didn't fold the washing and I just plonked it in the bucket and put it in their room. I must say it's still in the bucket still waiting to go in the drawer but I'm learning from my mistakes baby steps uh, we will get there okay next I want to share with you a hack from one of my other awesome team members Brayley hi I'm Brayley and I'm part of the team here at the Salon Owners Collective my life hack is an app that I recommend everyone to get it is called our groceries and it is a shopping list app so basically you can have it on your phone and your partner or your family members can have it on their phone and you sync up to the same grocery list and then everyone can add items to that grocery list. So you never have to worry about forgetting the list or no one ever has to ask you to add something to the list because they can just add it from their phone. You can also make different lists for different things. So if you want a special Christmas dinner list, you can make that. Or if you need th something from one supermarket and then something from another supermarket, you can make two different lists for the different supermarkets. You can also add recipes into there. So if you need specific ingredients for a recipe, and you know that it is for that recipe. It's super handy if you live with a partner or um, when I lived at home with my family, we would all use it as well. And we would all add things to the list. You can also connect it to your Alexa. So if you have an Alexa in your household, you can just ask Alexa to add something to the shopping list and she'll add it to the shopping list on this app. Um, so you don't even have to go on your phone to do it. Hope you enjoy my tip. Okay, that's another app I'm going to download ASAP. 
On the topic of food shopping, I actually have quite a few people mention to me that online food shopping with pre-made lists is something that's been a game changer for them. So definitely something to think about, especially if the groceries feel like a massive chore for you, as certainly have for me. Last but definitely not least, another thing that numerous people have suggested to me is that uh, I've actually gone out and purchased myself a Robovac. His name is Dusty. You know, one of those little robotic vacuum cleaners that whizzes around the house vacuuming the floors all by itself. Seriously, uh, it's one of those things that you have to ask yourself, why didn't I get this sooner? Uh, I procrastinated a little bit after hearing this. Uh, Eloise, Coach Eloise has one. And uh, I thought, oh, I've already got uh, a cordless one. I've got a corded one. I do not need another vacuum cleaner. It is a luxury that I do not need to invest in myself. I bought uh, one that's slightly on the more expensive side of things. And you know what? I have not looked back. I will never live another, another day without Dusty the RoboVac. It's been a game changer in my life. Eloise, thank you for that suggestion. I love him dearly. Right. I hope some of those hacks have been super useful. They have been super useful for me. Definitely a game changer for me around my house. It's the little things, guys. If we can remove the little things, the little stresses from our lives, it makes everything run more smoothly. It creates space for us to think about the big things, the big things that make the difference, leaving space for the people that are most important in our lives and moving the needle in our business and get rid of the little stresses that actually turn into big roadblocks. So I hope this has been super useful for you. I would love to see what it is that you do. I'm actually going to share a couple of my new purchases and new life hacks in the profitable and successful facebook group come and join me there would love to hang out with you otherwise look forward to seeing you same time same place next week thanks for joining me on another episode of the podcast tune in every week as i reveal the latest insights and advice on what it takes to truly master your inner salon ceo and master your salon success Subscribe to the Salon Owners Collective podcast on iTunes or Spotify or visit us online at www.salonownerscollective.com. But make sure to join me in my Facebook group for answers to common questions and much, much more. Thanks for listening and I look forward to tuning in with you again next week.